Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Friday Vibes with Central Campus Edition. My name is Esther and I'm with my guest, Melanie. And today we are going to be giving you three money tips for the Christmas holidays. So I'm going to give my first tip. Okay. My first tip is that quality is key. Like uh, during the Christmas holidays, they are rushing to like uh, get good deals, get uh, like sales 50% off, mm-hmm. and even to like 90% off. What you don't know is you have to check the quality because um, maybe you have been sold fake products or things like that. So check the quality because you don't want when it gets to January or even just a few months later that the product is breaking down or if it's like an electronic, it's you know, it's bre- sorry, it's breaking down and it's like not really like um, value for money. Yeah. yeah. I also really agree with that because during Christmas Eve there are so many sales mm. and also during Christmas people tend to have money, they save a lot. Yes. So you can tend to buy expensive things but you don't even realize you could get it at a cheaper price just because it's Christmas, you just want to go for the good stuff. So definitely look at quality, look at where you buy stuff and mm. still have that mentality in your mind of I need to get quality and I need to get value for my money. Yeah, uh, what's it? I'd say my second tip would be is always stick to your budget. Mm-hmm. Always have a budget just because it's Christmas. Because during Christmas there are so many things you need to buy. You need yeah. to buy gifts, the secret Santas. Mm-hmm. There are so many things that go on during Christmas. And if you over budget or go above your budget, it's still going to affect you in January. Mm-hmm. January. Na utaki kwa na January. So definitely stick yeah. to your budget and always be aware of what you're buying just don't just don't go buying stuff for everyone just budget and plans yeah and i think even when you're like buying gifts you can really prioritize like if you yeah. see like if you like exceed your budget then like you're not going to have enough money just because you need to give more people mm-hmm. you can prioritize i'm not saying it's like the best thing <laughs> but if you don't have the money then there's no need to like yeah that's yeah. true Plus you can find cheaper ways of pitching. That's so you can personalize stuff, you can wrap for yourself. Just yeah. find cheaper alternatives of gifting and getting away. Alright. Christmas. Uh, okay, so my last tip is save, spend wisely and um set goals with like your Christmas or your holidays code. Well what I mean by this is um so we normally like take time to like reflect uh during december but you can also take the time to make goals next year and even when you set goals and even tell like your your crowd during christmas when you meet next year you'll be accountability partners so even when you meet next year you'll be asking each other okay so you set these goals last christmas have you achieved them and even like if you tell people your goals during christmas even during uh, next year they can like even check up on you Oh, I remember you said this goes during on 25th December last yeah. year. What's going on? Is anything working? How can I help? And things like that. Yeah, definitely. I think this is a tip I'm taking from Esther because I've never had an accountability partner and listening to her, I know it's necessary. So definitely I'll get one so that next year I can look back and actually yeah. see what I've improved or what I've done. So thanks Esther for that. Thank you as well. Uh, so those are three many tips for this Christmas. So, just going to wish you Merry Christmas. Have a Merry Christmas and, and a Happy New Year. New Year 2019. Yes, and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you guys. See you.